Hello everyone and welcome back to the 101 Dalmatians challenge here in Sims 3 with all expansion packs and quite a bit of custom content. In fact, we have a whole bunch of new custom content. So our girls actually look significantly different. Oh yeah, significantly different than when we last left off. So you guys, I have finally finished my cross country move from North Carolina to Michigan, which is halfway across the United States for those of you guys who may not be familiar with geography. And I am settling in to do the 101 Dalmatians challenge and I am so excited to be back here with the family. I downloaded so many new mods. I downloaded so much new custom content. I spent about an hour and a half to two hours today downloading new hairs and outfits specifically for this family so that they, the, the girls can have lovely new tresses and some awesome new outfits, which was very much needed. Not so much because I'm obsessed with making my Sims look good. I always prioritize their personality over their appearance, but oh my goodness, there's not that many options for kids in Sims 3, so I was really happy to go out there and find some awesome outfits for them. So really quickly, before we dive into the amazing things we're going to get going on in the day, I'll show you guys the new hair! They look so good! Look at Meredith! Look at Meredith! She is just stunning, and I really feel like she sort of has a movie actress model sort of tone to her, no matter what we do with her, because she just grew up into such a stunning Sim. So we're going to kind of keep that with her, but it's really funny because behind her beauty, she's actually kind kind of um, dispassionate and she's sort of reserved and she is always just keeping with her best friend Pat. Pat is her only best friend to the point where she's actually pretty distant from most of her family and doesn't even really care that her parents are still missing. And then we have our lovely Tisha and Tisha has some nice beautiful long wavy hair now. She's looking really really good. It kind of suits her outdoor loving uh, vegetarian nature loving personality and we'll get more into her nature loving personality and the minor pets she really wants to start catching in just a little bit and then two of the other girls have received major makeovers one of those major makeovers was for emma this is emma you guys emma whose hair used to be up in a tight little braid and had a little ribbon in it a little black ribbon in it because her favorite color is black and emma who used to have the blue shirt on i love it her favorite color is black she's disciplined a virtuoso um i forget her other trait i think she's a bookworm and she wants to be a doctor that's her lifetime wish that she wants and I really love her new outfit. I think it looks great and I love the spots because this, the, this is the 101 Dalmatians challenge so all of the spots on her shirt really are quite suiting. And then let me see if I can find Lyra. Lyra wake up. Let's see if we can get her out of bed. She's got some new hair you guys and it looks so much better on her. I only had like three hairs to pick from for kids last time so I spent all morning downloading so many new hairs like I said and she looks so good look at this look at this I am so happy this gives her that kind of fun little edge that I was hoping for with Lyra so she looks she still looks like an alien but she looks like a kid now too and she looks like she could be half alien half sim more more alien than anything because of her facial features her pointy ears her black eyes and her green skin but at least she has a little bit of sim in her now now that she's got the beautiful black hair so that's that and I actually left a little Andrea my dear little Andrea over here totally as she was because it just feels like her outfit totally suits her for now. I have so many new hairs and new outfits for teenagers and for adults as well so as the kids grow up they'll have some awesome new outfits to suit their personalities. I'm pretty pleased. I tried to find a few hairs but really the more I tried messing with options for Terry the more I couldn't get rid of his longer hair because it very much suits him and I think maybe one day Tisha will either try to braid it or convince him to cut it but for now we're just kind of leave him as his like leave him as he is so that's the updates there and as for what's going to happen today well today is going to be a very busy day for the Radcliffe Dearly household well, everybody gets started on dishes and tidying up. Tisha actually made more pancakes today for breakfast and it actually improved her cooking skill. So she can now learn some new recipes, which is really fun. And then Pongo's birthday is today and Meredith is having a mood swing and little Tobias's birthday is today. So little Tobias is going to be growing up as well. We need to throw him a birthday party later. Good morning, Lyra. 
All right. But yeah, we're going to be having the kids work on some various projects. I thought about sending them to the park today so that Emma will actually be able to go and collect the bugs that she wants. And actually, Tisha wants to go and catch a bird, which I think would be pretty fun because she would give it to Andrea as a gift and start working on that big zoologist minor pets want. But I think Tisha is actually going to be working on kind of cleaning things and her garden today. <gasps> That's what she really, really wants to do. And actually, let's let Terry, because yesterday, uh, how about... um can he like uh complain about dirty dishes can he say anything about the food because enthused about music dirty dishes that's just vegetarianism talk about fire thank for cooking yeah i didn't even know there was an option to thank for cooking so we're actually gonna have terry thank tisha for cooking and then we're gonna send him outside to work with the dogs because he actually needs to work on training and bathing the dogs because they're starting to run a little bit lower on money than they're used to Oh, that's so cool. I didn't know that that was like an interaction that they could do. So, and if you recall yesterday, I think these two became girlfriend and boyfriend or at least romantic interest. So I think there would be like an awkward, uh, like compliment appearance. And then he'd probably run off to go take care of the dogs. Cause that's just, you know, they're, they're teenagers. They're still figuring out how to handle this rush of feelings, especially when there's so much responsibility. Meredith, why are you like glaring death into your pancakes? Who knows? Who knows? She's just, she really is though. So we'll leave her be for that. Tisha is going to come over here and clean. But yeah, so our goals for today, it's going to be Tobias's birthday. We'll celebrate that later in the afternoon. But Tisha is actually going to get started on the garden that she's always wanted to get going, especially since she found that gardening book that had Anita's notes in it. So Tisha's going to come out and maybe move the trampoline and maybe start a garden because, or maybe we'll start the garden like way down here over next to the cows, that would make a lot of sense. That would actually make quite a bit of sense. I thought about starting it out here too. This might be Tisha's personal garden. So we'll start here and then eventually it might become more of a farm type garden back here. And Terry, he actually realizes that Kada, Dusky, and Allison, now that these three Dalmatians are adults, they're due to be adopted out by Suas. And so Suas needs to come visit and adopt out these alien or the dogs to the aliens who love Dalmatians, the outer space aliens who adopt all of our Dalmatians. And that's why we're breeding 101 Dalmatians for the challenge but also because the um we, yeah, they're really gonna love a two-headed dalmatian here oh my gosh kata don't move your head like that when i'm paused it's really creepy but yeah he's realizing oh i need to get the dogs prepared they have fleas he needs to make them look good maybe give them a temporary really nice collar so they look fancy and they're ready for adoption and then he also has to have suas come out so we're gonna have lyra invite over suas for the first time in a little bit and if suas finds out that her daughter her like daughter is here on planet earth and she thought her daughter was kind Kind of a gift to the family because that's how aliens apparently cement relationships is just like hi i'm gonna abduct you and now you're having my kid and isn't that wonderful we've cemented our family bond um but if she finds out that like lyra is here without roger and anita the the wonderful parental units it's almost like sue has dropped her her half child or her child off in a nest because she was like oh good there's two really great parent like chickens who can roost over my baby and take care of it and now they're gone then i think that That'll mean Tisha and Terry and maybe Meredith, if she'll actually pull through, but I doubt she would, are going to have to prove to Suas that Lyra doesn't need to be taken away. But what happens if Lyra is taken away by Suas? So I think a great way to prove to Suas that things are going well are by taking care of the dogs. So we're actually going to go ahead and... Hey, Terry. Terry, mop up this puddle. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to take care of the dog. So who has, who has fleas? Kada has fleas. So that's what Terry is going to be doing on kind of in the background today. All right. So that's that. And meanwhile, the girls are just probably going to have their own day and we'll have Tisha get started. Grow ingredients for spenacopita. Interesting. So that's kind of cute. That's what she wants to do. She also wants to improve her cooking skill. And is that like make perfect pancakes? Because that's adorable. Hang on prepare pancakes she loves i'm gonna swap that out with the wildflowers option because i think she's really proud of herself for preparing pancakes every day and i think i'm actually gonna have her come out and maybe smoke the box and like feed the bees and try harvesting the honey for the first time because i don't know if we've ever had anyone harvest the honey on this farm 
And the other thing I want to do once we get Tisha really up and going and collecting these like honeybee honey and uh, gathering up all of the produce that she can get from farming is the canning station. There's a new amazing canning station mod overhaul for the canning station that you can get from the Sims store. And I love it. You can prepare like rations. You can prepare different jams. You can prepare different spreads for your toast. You can do so many new things with the canning station. And I've never even used it before, but I saw it on Tumblr and went over to Mod The Sims 3, which is where it's at under the mod section. And it is amazing. So I want to be able to start using the canning station with Tisha. And I think what we'll do is Tisha will get the garden up and going so we can start harvesting the produce. And then we'll make a root cellar. I think we'll go ahead and like expand over here and we'll make a root cellar where we can do canning and all sorts of farm related activities down in the basement. So I think that would be pretty good. All right, you go ahead and eat. And we're just, and Meredith is playing by herself as usual with, oh, Lyra! And here's Lyra's new outfit, by the way, you guys. Oh, geez. Here is Lyra's new outfit. This is what she looks like now. She still has her cowgirl boots, but now she has some jeans and just a nice kid shirt that I thought looked really colorful and bright because she loves hot pink. And I figured, eh, she's an alien. She's going to be into those bright colors and the geometric designs that may not make sense to a human eye, but totally would be appealing to her. So we'll let the kids kind of play and then we'll get to work taking care of them in a little bit. Tisha, how'd it go? Did you do good? Oh, cool! And she can sweeten up a dessert with her harvest? <gasps> that is so neat! Oh my gosh, there's so many things she wants to do. Okay, um, honey, sweet, delicious honey. Sure, there's a swarm of angry bees to get by, but the sting to honey ratio is high. But for Tisha Kegel, it is totally worth it to harvest the perfect honey. Oh, yay, that's so awesome! And we'll go ahead and we'll start getting stuff planted over here. So we'll just put things down and then eventually we'll come in and add in plants and kind of like an outline unknown rare seed now what is she able to plant she can plant this bamboo seed i think she might plant it in front of her window because that seems really cool so we'll plant that can she plant this this lettuce seed yeah we'll go ahead and we'll plant like some little lettuce in a nice sunny spot and then what else can she plant? Not the uncommons. Not the, she can't plant the football. We don't exactly have an omni plant yet. And then, yeah, we'll have her go ahead and like plant the herbs. Maybe like a little herb garden over here. Valerian. All right, we'll have her plant that there. Maybe that's too close. We'll figure it out. And is this, I'm not sure. Is this a lime? I think this is a lime. So I might have her plant that kind of like back here a little bit. And then a bean. I don't know what you do with these bean seeds. So we'll go ahead and we'll plant it kind of over here. I have a feeling she would kind of make it a little bit of a tidy garden. Kind of like a circle is what I'm thinking. So we'll kind of go in that direction. <gasps> broccoli! Can she plant broccoli? How can we cook broccoli? Oh, my broccoli ran away. There it is. All right. So we'll go ahead and plant some broccoli over here. Corn! Yes! Oh, I think she would be really proud of herself if she grew some corn because that's a farming thing and she lives on a farm now and she feels very strongly about that. There you go, Tisha. So Tisha's going to get her garden started. That's going to be a huge thing for the day. And Tobias needs some attention. So Meredith, really, Meredith, she's throw eggs into Sim's house. <laughs> Meredith's having that mood swing. And I think if it wasn't Tobias's birthday, she would just leave. But that's why... She's going to come over here and she's going to snuggle and play with Tobias for a little while. There we go. And all of the snuggling and playing that she does with Tobias is actually what makes Aaron pretty jealous. And so that's that's going on over there. Basil, what you doing in here? Do you have some fleas you need taken care of? No? Okay, go chew things. All right. Meanwhile, we're cleaning this puppy. Good. So Kata, she wants to sniff Terry. That's adorable. Kata, we'll let her sniff Terry. Friendly sniff and then come out to pee. Who else has fleas? Anybody else? Anybody else? Let's see. Pongo has fleas. It's also Pongo's birthday. Oh, and he's coming over. He wants Emma to brush him. So we're going to have Terry give flea bath. These two are having a great time hanging out with each other. The dogs are sniffing around the place. Hey, Allison. She's peeing on the... <laughs> Allison! The kids play there. All right. So she's taking care of that. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, what are you doing over here? What are you doing, Tisha? Wow, she's really, really proud of herself for filling up the dog food bowl here. That's kind of amazing. Did you finish planting everything? You did not. Get over here, you goose bucket. I guess I have to tell her to plant everything manually. That's fine. 
plant here, plant here, plant here, plant here, and she should be able to take care of everything now. So we'll get that little garden up and going. Baby is being taken care of. Andrea is off to do her homework like a good kid. All right, do you girls have homework? I'll have to send the girls over to the computer to collect their homework for the day. Check weather, sign up for after school class, enroll in school. Oh, Lyra is gonna need to enroll in school, won't she? All right, and Emma, you probably need to go ahead and get your homework too, download homework. All right, and then let's see, filling the dog food bowls up. Did you not get all the dogs? Pongo, Pongo, oh, he was too close to the other, the other uh, shower or the other bathtub. So we're gonna have him go here. Same with go here. Man, and we've got to like clean this place up. Oh man, Kata, Dusky, don't fight. You guys are named after like awesome people from the comments, so please don't fight. <laughs> All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and take care of Pongo. And Basil is going to be getting his new mate very soon. And we just have to make sure that all three girls have at least some skill. Yeah, they have one trick. Yeah, sometimes they are born with the knowledge because, let's see, where's the last? There's Allison. Because their parents were so well trained. There we go. So as long as they know one trick, then we can go ahead and adopt them out. All right, there's that. And then, all right, we're going to be homeschooled. Thank you very much. Accept career. All right. And Lyra is a loner, which means solitude and isolation will put her in a good mood. So apparently she doesn't want to play with her siblings right now. Uh, we'll have her download homework. Oh, there we go. And Tisha is working on her little garden. That's so adorable. Let's get down here. Hi, Tisha. Yeah, Tisha's finally getting <laughs> the garden started. This has been something that they've wanted to do in the family for ages now. And then Lyra is now homeschooling. Ah, oh, that's so cute, Tisha. The first time you've really plunged your hands into the soil. I have a feeling it will have a dramatic impact on her life as the days go by. All right, so Tisha's finally, 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 finally gotten the st garden started. And she'll be able to go out and find some seeds later. And yay, Emma, Emma has already done her assignment, apparently. Yeah? No? Okay, so she has to do her homework. We'll go ahead and make Emma do her homework. And before we end the day later, we will definitely have to buy a scroll up. All right, lady. Hey, you. Insult a teen. Get in a fight. What is this? Stop being friends with Erin. I think she's feeling annoyed by Erin. So light mini firecrackers. Get a part-time job. Uh, you know what? We're going to send her into town then. We're going to let her take a shower. And we're going to let her go into town because I feel like she's feeling cooped in and irritated. And we're going to let her come over and get that part-time job at the movie theater. Like, I think... Uh, should I have her get it now? Okay, we'll have little Tobias grow up and then we'll have her get the part-time job. Because I don't want her to miss Tobias's birthday. And we are going to have Tobias's birthday in just a minute here. Because then he can be a little toddler running around being so cute. Plant that corn, Tisha! And Terry, are you done? So Terry's bathing dogs... Lyra has received her homework for the day. For the most part, the kids will actually do their homework on their own, so we don't really need to worry about that. What? What's going on with you? What's going on with you, little guy? Oh, he's getting hungry. All right, don't worry, big sister. Get out of here, Aaron! Aaron! No wonder Meredith is so done with you. That is rude. Getting in the, like, come in, you're teenagers now. You can't just walk in on her while she's taking a shower. Bad Aaron. All right, so yeah, he's taking care of Pongo. And then I'm gonna have him mop up this puddle and clean this area up. The dogs are having a good time. Basil's off to take a nap. Perdita, Perdita wants to go. She loves chasing her old balls. So we'll let Perdita do that. And yeah, we're going to figure out what to do with the dogs. And we are going to have Terry. Not today, because he's just right now going to be kind of more cleaning stuff up. Um, he can't really clean that puddle up. He's going to be cleaning stuff up and trying to tidy everything up. But soon, Terry... And I will send him over to milk the cows. That is one of his chores that he's supposed to do. Feed vegetables. Get milk. I am going to have him start messing with this thing, the drill, so that he can start pulling up more rocks. Oh, and then the bathing he's doing. He's bathing Pongo, isn't he? All right, Pongo, let's pony up everything that you've been collecting. And Terry is going to learn how to start managing all the gemstones as part of the family business in breeding, raising, and selling rare Dalmatians. So what do we have here? We have fluorite. So Terry's going to have to start learning. Tiberium, yes, he's going to have to start learning how to cut and sell these. 
He's got ooh, a large space rock. Maybe we'll, we do tend to just decorate large space rocks around because, there we go. Because Lyra, so we'll just decorate with that large space rock. And Pongo tends to collect a lot of things for all of the dogs. So bloodstone, multiple moonstones, and then fragments. So we'll send Pongo out here and he can reconstruct, like reconstruct stuff. Woohoo, Neum. I wonder if Terry would be nervous handling that. Uh, let's see, some diamonds. We'll go ahead and give you the diamonds and the pink diamond. And we'll have, let's see, who else did we bathe? Did we bathe Basil? I don't think we did, but if we at least brush the dogs, I feel like it justifies. I think maybe we did take care of Basil. I don't remember. Oh, are you just guarding? He's just guarding his little bed. Let's send, oh, and Terry has like enough to turn his items in now. And watch the stars with Tisha Kegel. Oh, that's so sweet. All right, Terry, you've got to take care of stuff. I think instead of getting the milk, he's going to come in really quickly and rub belly and affection, uh, hug and care, brush Basil, though, because he needs to train Basil up. And the sooner Basil knows all of his tricks, the sooner we can get Basil's rainbow spotted Dalmatian mate that we're going to have. All right, Meredith, are you almost done with the baby? Oh, and then you were trying to take care of the baby, huh? Well, you know, you got beat to it. And then, let's see. All right, garden is planted. <laughs> There's always so much stuff to do. Child is bathing. We're going to go ahead and clean all these things up. Meredith is getting really, really annoyed with Aaron. So maybe we can leave me alone. You know what? We'll go ahead and tell him to leave her alone because she's getting super annoyed about this. And then the girls are doing their homework together. Good. Ah, uh, yeah, they're having a little bit of an argument down here. And let's go ahead and we're going to grow Tobias up. Or I should say, like, go ahead and celebrate his toddler birthday. So we can get that out of the way. And then next time, we're going to be working more with the Dalmatians and the dogs, trying to train Basil up. And what we'll do is once Basil has all of his tricks learned, then we will invite Suas over to adopt out the dogs, visit with her daughter, and decide if she wants to leave her daughter here or not, and also drop off Basil's mate. So that will be really exciting. All right, so let's go ahead and get the cake out. Do do the house is so messy. I think that Tish is thinking about how messy the house is, but she also wants to like play on the water slide. She has a little bit more laid back uh attitude towards these chaotic messes in the long run i think and then i think it's um not outdoor it is outdoor activities for this birthday cake probably because it catches fire so often <sighs> and then let's go ahead and see who's going to bring baby tobias up to let's have his sister do it blow out candles for little tobias come on let's have a birthday party Oh, jeez, was that like a final scream Meredith did? Like, get out! She is not having a good time with uh, Aaron right now. All right, all of the kids are like going over to do their homework right now. No, come celebrate Tobias' birthday, everybody! Tobias' birthday, come celebrate! All right, what are you doing? He's, he's off trying to jam instead of actually going over. Come on, come on. Wee, all right, and we're going to come down here. There you go, guys. Oh, look at the family. I think Meredith is actually really happy. Meredith, you've got your head through Tobias's um, skull there. Whoa, easy there. I think Meredith is actually really happy to be the one helping Tobias grow up. Because she likes babies, we've found. She likes babies and little ones. Okay, I thought she did. Easy there, Meredith, having your temper tantrum, your, your mood swings. I think she's looking at him like, well, you're cute now, but in a second here, you're just going to be a snotty kid. There we go. Happy birthday. The days have flown by and Tobias is now a toddler. All right. So let's go ahead and see what kind of skills he's going to have, who he's going to be. There we go. All right. And Tobias, how are you? Let's get a good look at him. So let's get a good look at the only other boy in the family. He looks like a cutie, actually. He really does. He has a lot of Roger in his face, I think. Oh, man, it's so surreal to think about Roger and Anita. And look at their, their youngest child, their little son. And Tobias doesn't really have any memory of his parents, does he? He was literally born and then, and then just left. He was born and then left on the floor. And his parents left the same night he was born. 
Oh, the drama of it all. Let's go ahead and try potty training him. And then finally, let's check his stats. And he is good and clumsy. That's right. Good and clumsy. He's got a few days before aging up. Spice brown, a mac and cheese, and island life. I think he actually shares... I think I already knew that about Island Life. Yeah, Digitunes, Digitunes. We have a couple of Roots, Geek Rock, excuse me, lovers over here. And then, stop being friends with Aaron. Man, Meredith is really, she's upset. She's having her mood swing. Things are getting a little interesting. And Tish is just right on top of it with her normal, like, her normal enthusiasm for taking care of little ones. So there we go. Now everyone's settling in to some afternoon birthday cake. Once they're done, hopefully they can get started on their homework again. But I think we're going to spend next time letting the dogs kind of go on an adventure and go look for like different resources. I actually have a new mod in place now. Oh, Perdita snuggling with Allison. I have a new mod in place now that every time the dogs go to sniff out collectibles, they actually have their fun and destruction needs go up a little bit too. Because in my opinion, if you are running around digging big holes in the ground, it makes sense for your destruction need to go up while you're doing that. So it should make the dogs a little bit happier because they really do seem to enjoy going out and searching for collectibles. And it looks like Perdita is headed over to this big field. Once once we really get in the groove of things by having the dogs find more collectibles and getting Terry digging up gemstones and all sorts of interesting things with the drill and selling the cut gemstones for more money, then we're going to save up enough money to buy this lot and start the animal rescue that we're going to be running on the side along with breeding all of our Dalmatians. So I'm really looking forward to that. I can't wait to share more adventures with you guys. I am so happy. Terry, you're going to see this mess and you're going to you're going to feel like, oh my gosh, he's, he still hasn't unclogged to this properly you get over here dude you're gonna clean all this up you're gonna mop all of it up you're gonna clean all of it up and emma looks adorable with her new outfit i love it what is she even doing who knows i love her new look though she's really quite sweet and then i will see you guys next time when we'll continue with the chaos on the farm and little lyra properly taking care of things i wonder if she'd be nervous to really meet her mother for the first time as a child so hmm so much to do ah grow my little corn grow all right so i'll see you guys here next time Bye bye